it's so Christmassy. It's my favourite tree we've ever had. Really soft throw. One of the best parts of Christmas for me. Oh. It is launch day. I present to you the mat bags. Stressing me out. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. everyone i hope you're all having a lovely sunday so far i am back last week i had a week off from the vlog um purely because two seconds just driving the motor vehicle sorry about the sun it's a bit bright um but yeah i had a week off purely because the sunnyside black friday sale went ballistic it was so busy last week thank god i had my mum to help me pack the orders because we were literally packing all day every day i'm not even joking monday to friday so i literally just had no time to do the vlog and also nothing else to vlog because that's all we were doing there were over 300 orders and obviously every order is packed really carefully with tissue paper and stickers and they look cute so sorry about that but how have you all been have you all had a good week what have i missed let me know in the comments down below if anything exciting has happened i'm on my way up to the office right now sunny is in the back with me as you've just seen and this week i have another sunny side launch so it's very busy at the moment i need to prep that but this week isn't gonna be anywhere near as busy as last week with sunny side so i will be able to vlog a bit more this week i have some fun things planned so i hope you enjoyed the vlog thank you for coming back for my return we can't start a day in the office until the christmas tree is on ah lovely i felt a little bit crazy putting the tree up on the 1st of November. But actually, I'm so glad I did because I've had so much use out of it. Well, use. I've had a lot of time to appreciate it. And we're gonna miss it so much when it's gone, aren't we, pup? Oh, sneaky peek of this week's launch. Should we take your jumper off? This is a little jumper that I showed in last week's vlog. It is too cute. There you go. Also gotta get that heating on straight away. It doesn't feel too cold in here though today, actually. It feels quite mild, but still the heating stays on when we're at the office now. I'm not looking forward to my electricity bill next month because the tree's been on, the heat has been on. We're in a cost of living crisis, hun. I'm sending a couple of these flyers I made to Taylor, which is the mum of Arlo and Huxley, because if this was sunny and these flyers were going out in 10,000 orders, I would want a copy of that. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas you see me? There we go Good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday. I'm feeling a lot brighter, a lot perkier than yesterday. I don't know what happened at the end of yesterday, to be honest. I had an afternoon nap because I was shattered for absolutely no reason at all. And then I just woke up in a bad mood. And I was like, I'm not vlogging anymore today. I don't want people to think I'm a misery, even though I was a misery yesterday. But so I feel a lot better. So happy Christmas again. I'm about to make myself some breakfast because I'm really hungry. I am back on my porridge hype. Nothing fancy. This one. Everything for my breakfast comes in a packet because I can't be bothered in the morning. Golden syrup porridge. And if that's not sweet enough, I also add honey to it. Why am I literally like Buddy the Elf? for breakfast. Actually, that is a big fat lie because my favorite breakfast in the world is a fry up. Savory food for breakfast, you can't beat it. Crumpets with butter. Oh, someone's at my doorbell, hang on. Sonny's barking. Hello, oh, thank you. Yeah, that's fine, thank you. God, that's a big box, what is that? Hasn't got my name on it, so that is not for me. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, love a sausage sandwich, love a fry up, but today, golden syrup for breakfast. Look who's catching those winter sun rays. Hey, stop licking your paws. Sunny, hello. Oh, I'm a bit zoomed in. 
Are you sunbathing? Oh, sweet girl. Is that nice and warm? I'd love to know what goes through your little brain. You are not even ready to see our Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. I love it. Da 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 da. Oh my gosh, it is my favourite tree we've ever had. I mean, it's the same as last year, but it's a good one nonetheless. How cute. It looks so cosy at night time as well. I just love a gold Christmas tree. There's something about it. It looks so posh. Most of our baubles are from the range. We've got a couple of special ones, like this little bell here is from Pandora. Not gonna lie, that was free when we bought something from Pandora years ago. But we've got a couple of posh ones, but most of them, The Range, Amazon, there's a few from local garden centres. I'm not being horrible, but you know just sometimes, ignore the fluffy socks, you know when singers just get to a point where they just need to retire? Is that really horrible to say that? What's this geezer's name again? Is that Cliff Richard? But I just feel like he's past his best. Like, have a sit down. Chill out for a while, you know? I just Googled it. That is Cliff Richard and he's 82. Geezer's 82 and he's doing this morning. I mean, fair play. Could not be me most mornings now, let alone when I'm 82. I will be sitting on my sofa having a packet of biscuits from the minute I wake up when I'm 82. Does he not just get tired? I feel like he should be relaxing and he's cutting shapes on this morning. At this moment in time, the bane of my life is in my office at home. Wait until I show you this. Oh my goodness. This is the Christmas present and extra box pile for everyone in my life. And it is stressing me out. I literally have no room in my office apart from this tiny little space. And these are things to put in the bin that Sunny has chewed. This room right now, I don't even want to look at it. I just wish I could shut this door and forget about it. But that's not going to happen because Christmas is going to roll around very quickly. I bought this year's wrapping paper from Tesco. One, I really like that it's not plastic wrapped. How good is that? Second, I just really like this wrapping paper. It's got like little stars on it. It was three for three pounds. So I got nine and I also got this wrapping paper. It's like gold with little gold reindeers on. I'm quite fussy with wrapping paper just because we put so much effort into the tree. Well, I put a lot of effort into the tree. I do the Christmas tree by myself. I don't want to ruin it with ugly wrapping paper underneath it. So I always get like a neutral colored wrapping paper and then I'll like, I can suffice a red ribbon around it. I do actually think that looks really cute. So yeah, red ribbons, white ribbons, gold ribbons, but the wrapping paper has to match the tree in my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you the same or do you not really care about wrapping paper? These are really cute. I got these in Tesco as well. This little twine. Oh my gosh, I love these. I think this is going to look so cute on this with a white ribbon as well. I did most of our Christmas shopping on Black Friday. I literally got some such good deals. I was on the train to Brighton because I also went to Brighton for a weekend while I had a week off. So that train journey from Essex to Brighton I just spent the whole time Christmas shopping on Black Friday honestly some of it I haven't even opened yet like this is for my mum she doesn't watch my videos so she's not gonna see this but I got her a couple of bracelets from Abbott Leon all my mum has asked for for Christmas is she needs some new earrings and she said I'd like a little gold bracelet so I got her a couple the first one one is like for everyday use and the other one is more like going out this is what the first gold bracelet looks like just super simple something for her to wear every day this one's a bit harder to show you but it's like a little tennis bracelet it keeps turning around in the box but it's got like all little diamantes all the way around it i'm really pleased with the presents that i've got everyone this year and also i've said this before in my vlog but my mum doesn't like do online shopping she doesn't she's like a complete technophobe so i have to buy everybody in our lives christmas presents i counted it this year it was actually 20 people that i've had to buy for that's another thing i want you to let me know in the comments how much of your christmas shopping have you done i for one literally never go to the shops to do christmas shopping have you seen the madness that is oxford street at the minute that looks like my worst nightmare i feel like online one you can get such better deals two there's way more options online and three your bank details are safer when you're shopping online if you're using a VPN. Which leads me in nicely to tell you guys that this vlog is very kindly sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark have sponsored my channel throughout this entire year. I am so grateful for it. Especially because it's a service that I believe in wholeheartedly. I've told all my friends and family about it. So if you're new around here, let me enlighten you. Surfshark is a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network. And in a nutshell, it's a browser extension that sits at the top of your browser 
filter when you're using the internet and it acts as a little tunnel to the internet. It keeps you, your information, your bank details, your card details all safe when you're shopping online or when you're just browsing. The way it works is that when you connect to Surfshark it gives you a new IP address. I tend to leave mine connected to London so I never use the internet with my actual IP address which means that hackers can't access me and my information. Adios hackers, have a lovely Christmas but you're not coming anywhere near me. You can actually connect to servers in over a hundred countries with Surfshark. Not to brag but Surfshark is the first premium commercial VPN to achieve this and when you connect to a server somewhere around the world you can access the internet as if you're in that country. And guys this is going to come in so useful for me this Christmas specifically on Boxing Day because you do not understand how much I have wanted to see the new Matilda film but I don't have a single person in my life that wants to go to the cinema to watch that with me. However it comes out on Netflix on the 25th of December I believe but it comes out in America possibly the rest of the world but not the UK. Not the UK until next summer unless You've got a little VPN. You best believe that on Boxing Day, I will be connecting to an American server and watching Matilda on Netflix. I am so excited about it. It is such a big perk for downloading Surfshark, especially this time of year. All the American Christmas films. I'll leave a link for you to check out Surfshark in the description down below. And now is the perfect time because they have a special offer on for the holiday period. The Surfshark offer has increased, my friends. When you use the code FABULOUS, you can now get 85% off and three months extra free. That is the biggest discount yet. The offer ends on the 31st of December, so get your festive Surfshark subscription started now. I wanna say a massive thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring the channel this year. It means the world. I've loved making every single video, and more than anything, I've loved not having my card cloned at all this year. That's new for me, because it used to happen a lot. I'm about to take Sunny out for a walk. We'll probably be out for like, 40 minutes to an hour but if I do it now then she'll sleep for most of the day and then I can get loads of work done but oh my god it's so cold like this is how much I'm having to wrap up now I'm such a cold person as well in the body and in the heart my scarf is from Primark my hat is from Primark as well actually a few years ago and then my coat oh my god this is my pride and joy this is from Calvin Klein not gonna lie it did cost a small fortune, not a small fortune, it cost a fortune. The most expensive coat I've ever had, but when you're walking your dog twice a day, you need to wrap up. I don't know if last year or the year before, I can't remember, but whenever I bought it, I have been so grateful that I made that decision every year since. It's really long. If I can find a link to it, I will link it down below, but it's quite old now, so don't know if I will be able to. Then I've got my bag with treats, poo bags in it. I've got my phone in here, my keys. My gloves, I'll put them in my pocket for now. Da, 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 da. I literally, I'm still obsessed with it now. I love it so much. Sammy's got her Christmas honey on. Show everyone. Oh, wow, sweet girl. Look at you, we look so Christmassy. such a monkey look she doesn't want to go somewhere oh now you walk she just stops come on come on we're going this way we go that way <laughs> she's trying to take me back home it's sunny you're so lazy Okay, I'm back. I've actually been editing this video for a while, so I've been sat on my bed for probably an hour or so, and I'm now going to have lunch. So, the other day, we had a practice Christmas dinner, which sounds excessive, but my dad's bought this meat smoker. I've spoken about it before in the vlogs, but basically this year we're going to smoke the turkey for the first time. So my dad wanted to practice a turkey before everyone's round for Christmas. So we had a practice turkey the other day, it was absolutely delicious, and then... One of the best parts of Christmas for me is always my mum's turkey soup that she makes after. And obviously we had loads of turkey left from the other day. So she made a turkey soup. She's frozen loads of it, honestly. Like she does it in this massive saucepan. You can't even call it a saucepan. It's like a, it's like restaurant level of bulk cooking. Some of it's in the fridge and I'm going to have some for lunch today. It smells like Christmas dinner but smoky, it's so nice. Here's the soup in all its glory. And in case you didn't know what I meant by French toast, it's literally toast sliced in half and then grilled, so it's like really thin toast. 
this with butter on dipped in the soup delicious i did burn the toast a little bit though not gonna lie we're at the office i say we because we do everything together don't we sunny bear it's actually 20 to 5 now i've been up here this afternoon because my new stock arrived like i briefly mentioned there is a product launch on friday i present to you the mat bags so this afternoon i've just got them all out the boxes opened them up and i've checked through every one i've put the handles on each one so basically inside each bag is a small removable pouch for the humans items keys phone wallet that type of thing but when they arrived the inside pouch was in the bag and the handles were inside the inside pouch so i've got the handles out put the handles on each bag and I've sorted out which ones are fine and which ones are a little bit creased and need to be steamed because obviously I want them all to be perfect before they go out to the customer. So all the ones at the back are fine and these ones at the front, like there might just be a little bit of creasing on them. Like for example, this red one, see this here? It's a little bit creased. That's not good enough for me. So I'm gonna steam every one at the front. All the little bags need steaming as well. So there's quite a few to do, but we can do it over the weekend, can't we? So yeah, steaming. Yeah, steaming. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I've been doing this afternoon, sorting all these out. And it feels like a mammoth job has reduced slightly. Tomorrow's job is taking the website photos. We all know that's my least favourite part of the process, but it's got to be done. It's Wednesday tomorrow. They launch Friday evening. So yeah, the pictures need to be taken. The content needs to be shot. But for this moment in time, I'm going to go home, have a cup of tea and continue editing this vlog. I'm pleased with what I've got done today. I need to email my accountant too. Does anyone else find themselves like adding the tiniest things to their to-do list throughout the day? I think I'm nearly at the end of it and then I'll add one more little thing, but constantly. Everyone. This is the first time I've actually spoken to you today. Have I got baked beans in my teeth? No, I haven't. This evening, it's actually now about eight o'clock. I'm about to go and do a charity drop to the women's shelter. Well, I say to the women's shelter, I don't actually take it there myself because it's at an undisclosed location, obviously for their safety. Um, but we have a local representative near us. I take it to her house, load up her car, and then she volunteers at the shelter and she takes it there. I've got three boxes to take today. One of them is really heavy. I'm gonna have to get my mum to help me put it in the car because there's no way I can do it alone. But obviously I get sent so much P.O. Box stuff and I'm only one person. I've only got one face. A lot of it is skincare and makeup. So instead I collect everything up after I've posted about it, done what I needed to do for the brands. And then I'd say maybe like two or three times a year I'll do a drop for the shelter. And the Christmas drop is usually one of the biggest. We have got a very full box of stuff today. And I mean full to the brim. Like there is so many different brands in here tans moisturizers hair care skin care i've got another couple of boxes here with some stuff in let's go it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is Oh my goodness, it is so cold today. Right now, it's minus two degrees. It's half past six and I'm about to go out in minus two. I feel crazy. But my boyfriend and I have had this booked for a while. So there's this light show on in Essex. I think it's in a few places in Essex. We're going to the one at Barley Lands Farm. I haven't been there since I was literally like three years old but it's like a light trail i've been to something similar to this i think in oxford but yeah we thought we'd go and try this one out we were going to go out for dinner beforehand decided actually mcdonald's is more us we buy fancy mcdonald's love a cheese box to share but it's ridiculously cold so i thought i would show you how much i've wrapped up like i hate being cold so much so first of all under my jumper i have a black pajama top which is like brushed cotton i have my black fluffy leggings on from primark these massive thermal socks, you can literally see the shape of my leg change. Got a pair of gloves. I'm gonna wear a massive scarf, obviously a hat as well. My big long coat and then I've got 
hand warmers for both of us it's just charging right now i actually sell these on sunny side and they're so good for dog walking or for light trails i'm gonna wear my boots as well and i think with all of that i'm literally giving myself the best chance to not be cold minus two who's allowed that then surely it's gonna snow soon <gasps> 15th of december light snow this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere okay go i reckon nice oh yay <laughs> tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me another year went by but the difference this time is that ever since july it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's the same life for me, but I'm loving it. I'm up at the office this morning because it is launch day. Matte bags are launching at 6pm tonight, I'm really excited about it. Sunny's just finishing her breakfast, making sure there's no more in the bowl. I think it's all gone, puppy dog. I've started to prep them over here, wrapping them in the cellophane bags to keep them protected, putting them all together so the little detachable pouches, which are over here, go inside each one and then they're wrapped in the bags to protect them on their way to the customer. Sunny is smelling her bum. <laughs> but before I do any more map bag prep, I'm gonna pack the orders that came in last night and get them ready to take to the post office. Even though there's another strike today, I'm gonna take them in the morning instead and then they'll be sent off Saturday morning and hopefully the people will get them Monday, Tuesday. All I can do is cross my fingers with Royal Mail at this point. This is gonna sound ridiculous, but it baffles me that she knows her name. Like she's an animal and she responds to her name. I think that's mad. Sunny? Oh, I spoke too soon. Sunny? She knows. I know you're literally two years old, but well done. Just gone to start packing away. I've been shooting the map bag stuff, some last minute content. I turn around and she's sitting on it. <laughs> Why is that so cute? I love you so much. Guys, this is so random, but I'm home now. I'm about to give Sunny a Pyriton because she's scooting her bum. But she has to have half this Pyriton. I always struggle breaking them in half until I saw this TikTok so I wanted to share. You see how the line is down the middle? Just press it either side of the line at the edge and it literally breaks in half. That is life-changing news. Hello, everyone. It's Saturday. I've been having a bit of a reset day today. It's hair washing night tonight. I'm definitely not looking my best today, so sorry for that. I've been tidying everything in my room because I've just had so much stuff everywhere. I've just been sorting my life out a little bit and it feels good. But I wanted to share this with you because this week I had a box arrive from Cherries that I wasn't expecting. They've completely sent this out of the blue. So lovely of them. And honestly, when I opened this box, I've had a sneaky peek. I cannot resist a Cherries box. If it arrives, it's open within 10 minutes. And I couldn't believe how me this box was. It feels so personal to me. So I've split it into sections. If you haven't heard of Cherries, they're like an online homeware bargain store. They have such good stock. They have food, homeware pet stuff, cleaning stuff. I spend far too much of my life on the Cherries app, honestly. I love it. I can't wait for the day I move out to do a massive Cherries order. I will definitely be vlogging that. So I want to share what they sent over. I'll start with the food section because I feel like a lot of you are foodies like I am. First thing is a Cadbury's Advent Bar. I mean, it's the 10th of December now, so I've got at least 10 chunks to catch up on. Will I be able to stop at day 10? Probably not. A white Terry's chocolate orange. After eight bites. After eights feel so nostalgic to me. I used to have them all the time when I was a kid. Not all the time, but like if my mum and dad had friends round, they would buy a packet of after eights for their friends to have in the evening. And they eat them out of the little black pouches. Oh, I used to love that as a kid. I felt like a right treat. I felt like a grown up. A tub of mini cheddars. This big thing of chocolate bars. Let me know, what's your favourite chocolate bar out of all of those? Mine is crunchy. I love a crunchy. And the last food thing, a luxury Christmas pud. We always have a Christmas pud on Christmas as well. We like put, is it brandy put on it? I think it's brandy. And then you set it alight. We normally do that. I don't do that. My mum does that. Now for the homeware bit. A lot of you are also going to like this. First thing is this massive really soft throw oh my gosh this is lovely i'm actually not going to unwrap this now i'm going to save this for when i'm living in my house and put it on the sofa not that i have any plan to move out anytime soon but i've got a couple of bits now where i think like that'll be good for when i move out i think i might like start putting a box together or something it's gonna have to be a pretty big box because even this is large exciting though got a christmas stocking how pretty is that little mug 
cup of festive cheer some tree decks so we've got this one these all match our tree as well amazing this little star one very cute and this little glass bauble one I will put all of those on the tree today. This little jar, which I thought was really sweet. I'm not sure what I would put in this. Maybe this will need to go in the box of stuff for when I move out. And I could put like some frosted eucalyptus in there at Christmas. That would look pretty. Or like some eucalyptus with some holly berries on it. That on a fireplace. Beautiful. 100 LED micro lights. Or I could just put these in here. That would also be lovely. A gel eye mask. How refreshing is that going to feel? And then there's also a couple of pet bits. That's what I mean. Like it's just so personal. Like the fact they know I have a little dog so cute look at the christmas jumper oh my heart can't cope these actually kind of match my christmas harnesses that i released this year as well green gingerbread men great minds think alike and last but not least a little toy for sunny she's gonna love this they sent a very cute postcard and let me know that if you guys use the code fabhanxmas you can get 25 percent off your first cherries order when you spend over 20 pounds thank you very much to cherries for all of these lovely items <laughs> Wow, puppy. He's a ginge. <laughs> oh, look. <gasps> a present. Wow, what a lucky girl. We put some treats in here and then you can find them. That'll keep you entertained for a while. Look at the camera and say thank you, Jerry's. <laughs> I think that's as good as we're gonna get but anyway my loves I'm gonna end the vlog here I really hope that by this time next week we've had snow I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog if you did please do give it a big thumbs up I feel like throughout this vlog I've asked you to let me know a few different things in the comments down below so I hope you've let me know all of the above do subscribe to see if someone wants to be involved say subscribe to my mum so I can have extra Christmas presents I actually haven't ordered her any yet what a bad dog mum but you'll spoil all year so I don't think you mind but anyway my loves Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next Sunday. Am I boring you? With another little video. Bye guys. Love ya. Love you everybody. Bye.